This video is the hint video for scams and schemes, so this is just going to point out some of the important parts for each of the electronic messages. So um, the first important part is that it does not address the person by name. It says, attention U.S. bank customer. Um, another important part says, failure to do so within 24 hours will lead to account suspension. Um, another important part is that there is a link that says, click here to confirm your account. So now for question two, um, another important part is the fact that it does address the person by name. Um, another important part is that there is a link in the email. Um, you'll notice that it doesn't have um, a lot of these characteristics. For example, it doesn't have a sense of urgency. It doesn't alert that you're in some kind of trouble. It's not too good to be true. For question three, um, some of the important parts are that um, it doesn't address you by name, so it doesn't even say dear customer or dear anybody. Um, another important part is that um, it's showing some kind of trouble or difficult situation because it says you are being investigated for tax fraud. Um, and then pretty much that's it as far as the important parts. Um, so now, for question four, um, some of the important parts are that it does address by name, Jacob S. Mullen. Um, another important part is that um, there really is no sense of urgency. It says we need to verify some recent activity, but it doesn't say that we're in any kind of trouble. Um, there are no links, it, and it's not too good to be true. Now for question five, um, some of the important parts, it doesn't address the person by name. It says just dear PayPal user. Um, another part that's important to understand is that um, it says that performing this action will lift the limited access and restore your account. So it's showing that you're in some kind of trouble because your account's not working. Um, and then pretty much there's also going to be a link, um, which is right here at the bottom. Um, so those are the important parts for number five. And then for number six, um, some of the important parts are that it doesn't address by name. Um, and then there is a part that's too good to be true. It says that you may receive a check for up to five million dollars cash. Um, and then really, um, there's nothing that says that there's a some kind of trouble or difficult situation. Um, and there's nothing really with a sense of urgency. But those are the important parts for question six. Um, and then finally, for the last part, you're simply going to write your own phishing scam email. So you're going to pretend that you're a phishing scam person. And you want to include at least three of these characteristics. Sense of urgency, alert that you're in trouble, link in an email, too good to be true, and not addressing by name. And that's it.